Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Pressure is building on House Speaker Pernell Charles to table the Auditor General's highly anticipated Caribbean Maritime University report. In Parliament on Tuesday, Charles said he would table the document when he receives it. But in a review of the tape, he was heard saying he would not be laying it on Tuesday. And the report details a trail of questionable spending, flagrant human resource breaches and other violations of government protocol at the CMU. The report seen by the Gleaner has again thrusted resigned Education Minister Rural Reed and CMU President Fritz Spinnock into a whirlwind of controversy a week before they are slated to return to court on corruption charges. Religious, civic, government and business leaders were at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel this morning for the 40th annual National Leadership Prior Breakfast. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen told the people he called cynics among us that the annual prior breakfast was still relevant. The opposition is contending that Jamaica's foreign exchange market continues to be chronically volatile because of an acute shortage of the U.S. currency. However, the central bank says it expects the foreign exchange market to revert to more normal patterns in the near future as the demand is partly because of transactions that are temporary in nature. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $137.87, the British pound sterling for $181.28, and the Canadian dollar for $103.81. In sports, Jamaica's Rugby League team has been drawn in Group C of the 2021 Rugby League World Cup in England. The Reggae Warriors are drawn alongside New Zealand, Lebanon and Ireland. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning there will be isolated showers across sections of northern and eastern parishes and mainly sunny conditions elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy skies and windy conditions along the coast. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.